what's going on guys welcome back to the channel so i'm gonna keep working on my rear drop i'm gonna get my truck parked in the driveway and uh basically it's gonna be uninstalling like the leaf springs uh brake lines even the rear axle get that out the way hopefully i can start grinding it today and probably on my next video will be finished grinding off the frame and getting it painted but you guys Stay tuned to the end. Watch my videos fully if you guys can. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. So, back to the drop. Alright guys, so I'll put my truck in the driveway so that way I can put some jack stands. I'm gonna put two here, one here, one on the other side, and then another one here in this corner and the other one in the other corner. Alright guys, I'm gonna show you how I got these measurements for the C notch. I set up my uh, C notch on top of the bump stop just like that. And now you guys can see right there this um this edge right here on both sides so i measured see how that sits right there i just measured it each side so that way it was e equal and then i just set this on top and then did the line underneath that's how my center is going to be and it does look and if you guys can see it looks pretty centered because it sits right in the middle and it falls right in the middle of where the axle is so this is where I'm gonna cut I did the same thing with the driver's side see how that one has two lines all I did was set this there check the gap right there measure that see if we can get measure that and that make sure it was the same on each side and then I set this in there all I did was I did a line on top and under but the one I'm gonna cut it's gonna be this bottom one and I don't think it's gonna be exact because I don't want to cut too much so I'm just gonna cut that and then slowly keep cutting until this falls right in place and also this uh, CPP um, kit rear uh, flip kit this C notches I thought they were different but they both measure the same thing so they they both have the same designs it'll go on either side because I didn't they didn't have no mark if it was a left hand side or a right hand side so I measure them and they measure the same so I'm guessing it's you know it's universal so just to give you guys a heads up if you guys decide to get a CPP flip kit so yeah once I cut this off and everything fits then I'll start um, marking down those holes right there half inch holes got a drill in there and then we can start putting this stuff together all right guys I'm gonna show you real quick what tools I'm using for this uh, bolt right here it's a uh, 1316 and for this back one, I'm using a 22 millimeter. And then you come this way where the U-bolts are at. You got four bolts, and those are our 19 millimeters as well. Uh, the shock, the top bolt, the top nut is also a 19 millimeter. I'm using a 19 millimeter socket. And then for the bottom bolt of the shock, which is this nut, if you can see that, that one's a, uh, I'm using a 22 millimeter, goes right in, take that bolt off, and then right here, this bolt, same thing as the, uh, as the back one, it's also a 13 16, and the back one is a 22 millimeter. I just figured I'd let you guys know, uh, let me get started.
right guys, so I'm gonna start grinding these rivets off. Got four of them. Two here and two here. And then this side too, grind those off. Make sure your brake line's out the way. I don't know what these are. This is not a brake line, but I'm gonna get these out the way so I don't cut them off. I think these go for the uh, tank and a wire for the uh, tow hitch. Move those out the way and get started. Got those grinded off. Now, next thing I'm gonna do, gotta remove these brake lines so I can remove the axle, all that good stuff. So these brake lines, the tool for this one's a um, 10 millimeter. Both of these, and I was trying to get it off of here, but it's so rusted that I'm just gonna take these off. And that one's a um, this bolt right here, it's a 13 millimeter. So I'm gonna take this off. You take these off first and then the, the big bolt. guys so I gotta remove this uh, drive shaft that's four bolts holding it and they're up uh, 11 millimeters so I'm gonna get those out of there and get this out the way and then I can start on bolting everything here so I can take this whole rear axle out of here and keep going Right, guys finally got the dry shaft out this bolt right here was giving me a hard time as you can see I didn't remove it at um, I, I think it's gonna break because it's pretty tight it turned just enough so I can get this bracket out the way so I'm gonna leave it like that for now and I'll uh, keep going all right so I'm gonna start taking these uh, shocks off on both sides and then getting these on leaf springs unbolted these bolts right here and there and then when it's completely off I'm gonna start taking these u-bolts out of here and then do the flip on that so let's get going
Alright guys, so I was having problems removing this bolt right here. Took the nut off, it comes right out. But it feels like it's see how it got rubber, like a rubber bush in there. It looked like it's all connected. I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to look it up and uh, go from there. Same thing with the other side. I was thinking I can take this bolt off and then hit that out this way and it'll come out, but it's not happening. So I might have to heat this up, burn that bushing out, and put a new one and then go from there. But I'm gonna leave that alone. I'm going to start taking these uh, bump stops out since I already grinded the rivets from the back. So, yeah, I'm going to do that right now. Just like that. We'll do the driver's side. And the bump stops are out. Alright guys, so there you go, the bumps also are out. You guys comment down below and let me know how I'm doing. Really appreciate everybody's comments. It's my first time doing this. I am I am messing up stuff and you know it's a lot of work. So I'm trying my best to get this done soon. I really need your guys' help. Subscribe to my channel, you know it's free. Just click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you can see all my videos that I upload. So yeah, comment down below guys, let me know how I'm doing. Alright guys, so I got all the nuts loose on all six bolts, but the bolt ain't coming out. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of corrosion in there that's not letting it come out. So the only way I can get that fixed is if I cut all the heads off on all six. And I've got this little plate right here I took off the rear bumper. This is going to slide right in here. I'll probably put like three or four of them. And then I'm going to use the nut, screw that in. So once I screw that all the way in, that's going to push this bolt out that way to loosen it up. And that's the way I'm going to do all six of them. Once I get it to move, if it doesn't make, if I can't get it all the way out here, I can, I'll, be, I'll be able to push it back out this way because it's going to be already loose. So that's what I'm going to do and I'm going to keep going. guys I'm gonna start with four washers here Put one of these plates now I think we use all these washers and one one of these plates that way it gives room for the um, get a couple threads in Moment of truth, see if this works. You know, cut the head off of that, so that should push it that way. Hopefully you guys can see that. See, 
see that? It's working, so it's pushing the bolt out that way. But then, hopefully, I can get it loose enough so I can get it out. But it looked like it's working. So let's keep going. guys so all the bolts are out it wasn't easy but it got done now the rear axle leaf springs everything's ready to come out turn this baby down a little bit
All right, guys. So I got the leaf springs off. Everything's already ready to come out. But what I'm gonna do first, I'm not gonna bother taking these nuts off. I'm just gonna cut the U-bolts. I'm gonna grind those off, both sides. Get the leaf springs off of it. Take the bushings. Take all the bushings out. Take the metal sleeve that's inside of there, and uh, start grinding the the lift spring, paint it, and uh, wait till my bushings come in. And all the parts that I'll be using for this truck will be linked in the description if you guys want to check them out. So I'm gonna get started. so the leaf springs are out now I gotta do is move that uh, rear axle out of, out of the way but first I gotta remove this fence so I can put it back over there and start grinding the axle everything make it look real nice all that's gonna be grinded down and painted um, I'll probably end up putting a new gasket changing the fluids on that but for now let me get the fence out of here out the way and uh, Move this rear axle back over there. Start grinding it with leaf springs. All right. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank <laughs> you.